What's up, Ram fans? I'm Jason Ortiz here with CTV Sports, joined by Jessica Mendoza. And we're at the CU Event Center, where CSU just fell to CU 86-80. to 80. And this game, it was two totally different halves. Absolutely. And before we t talk about that, I do want to touch on the fact that this is the first time in three years that the CU Buffaloes have beat the CSU Rams in men's basketball. So this was a huge victorious win for them. Um, definitely, as you mentioned, this was a big shift from the first half to the second half. So the Buffaloes went from shooting 31, 33% to shooting 61% in the second half. So definitely a major difference. I don't know what they talked about in the locker room, but it must have really pumped them up, got them to be more accurate. And CSU's defense definitely dropped as the game went on. Um, I know Nico Medved was really disappointed in his, his team's defense. Um, personally, I thought they did really well in the beginning of the game. Um, they held uh, CU to a really low shooting percentage and um, overall just kind of stayed on their toes. But towards the end, they just really started to look like they were giving up when it was still a really close game. Yeah, and the defense wasn't as great in the second half as it was in the first half. But you got to give props to Adam Thistlewood. Mm -hmm. He manned up Lucas Seward. Yep. All night long. Lucas Seward made one three, and that was the one he banked in right at the beginning. Yeah. And so the big the height disadvantage on that, you knew that was the game plan for CU. They wanted to get in, and they wanted to exploit the, the Rams' height disadvantage, yeah. and it worked in the second half. Absolutely. Uh, Thistlewood did do a good job covering um, Seward, but Seward still did end the day with 17 points, a very dominant first half, as you mentioned. Um, but I do want to touch on the freshmen. We usually see this freshman score a high volume of points. They're usually leading scorers and kind of actually leaders on this court um, as young and inexperienced as they are. But we definitely saw that hurt them today with the intensity in this room, all the pressure they probably felt from this huge rivalry. Uh, this would end the day with six points and um, Kendall Moore ended with three. So definitely not what we were expecting. Yeah, and Kendall Moore needed to be bigger He because Anthony Bonner picked up two big charge calls yeah. right at the beginning. Yeah. They were questionable charge calls, but those those are when Anthony Bonner has to go to the bench. Kendall Moore has to be that guy who's got to step up. And, I mean, two more games, they get Hyron Edwards. Mm -hmm. So that's definitely going to help out with the depth. Yeah. But tonight it was, yeah, the freshmen, they didn't play up to par tonight. Yeah, and speaking of Anthony Masonton Bonner, um, he didn't miss a shot until the second half. Super accurate in the first, in the beginning of this game. Um, definitely made a big mistake, though, going into the end. Um, they got the ball with a couple minutes left, and or a couple seconds left, went down and shot it and missed his three. So that was definitely a devastating way for him to end his pretty good performance of the night. Um, and then we definitely want to touch on Chris Martin. He had an amazing game tonight. Yeah, Chris Martin, it seemed like down the stretch, Chris Martin had to get the ball. Him and J.D. Page, if they drove, they, they were either getting fouled yep. and ones, or they were just getting buckets. And that's one thing that Medved talked about in the press conference is, they had a few times where they got big buckets on one end, but they didn't get back. Yeah. And those transition into big momentum plays. And a big dunk by Tyler Bay mm -hmm. got this crowd going late, and it seemed like CU was about to run away with it. But CSU, CSU kind of rolled him back in. Yeah, absolutely. And speaking of Tyler Bay, an amazing player for tonight's yep. game. Leading scorer for CU Buffaloes yep. tonight. Um, definitely someone that I don't personally, I didn't hear a whole lot about no. going into this game. I think we're looking a lot, uh, looking to see a lot more from um, McKinley Wright. Yeah. Yes, McKinley Wright. Um, but he he was the leading scorer of the night. Um, absolutely incredible, especially in the second half. Really got the intensity up in this gym. Um, yeah as you said, with the dunks. And then if we want to talk about Nico Carvacho, um, especially in the second half, he was pretty much in there working as hard as he could, but you could see the emotions on his face. Um, he got really frustrated with a lot of the Buffaloes tonight. There was a lot of physicality out here on this court. Um, it seemed like they obviously weren't getting along, a big rival here. So I think that he's really going to have to work on just keeping his emotions mm -hmm. um, under control and just playing his game through the whole, through the entire game. Yeah, and I mean, got to hit some free throws. That, that too, was absolutely. That was big. Uh, <laughs> he started the game off 0 for 4 from mm -hmm. the free throw line. And I think that the CU fans kind of started getting in his head. Yeah. And that's one thing when you're playing in enemy territory, you can't let the, you can't let the opposing fans get in your head. Yeah. And luckily for them, next game's at home yes. against Arkansas. A tough team. Yeah, another, another tough, tough team. another big and tough team. Yes. They're, they're going to exploit that length again and that yes. height. And it's going to be they, hopefully some of the players on CSU can grow before before Wednesday. <laughs> Give them because, some pills, maybe. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> no, <don't. laughs> they, they they need something because yeah. this, the paint is just they're just getting torn up in the paint. Yeah, so we're definitely looking forward to that game at home against Arkansas on Wednesday. The Rams are get, I definitely foresee them having a lot of defensive drills in their practices coming up since that's been a major thing for this team. So signing off for CTV Sports, I'm Jessica Mendoza. And I'm Jason Ortiz. Have a great night, Rams.